Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In this episode, we're going to continue working on our new mini-game place. Um, in the last episode, which I know it was a long time ago, um, I apologize. In the last episode, what we got working was... Actually, in the last episode, we basically didn't get anything working. Uh, yeah, we literally got nothing working. I basically explained what these new um, services are at the right hand side of your screen or your video player my screen um, and today we're going to get working on a bit more of this while true do loop and selecting mini games um, announcing mini games running mini games and restarting now mini games are going to be they could be their own functions um, in the script. They could be separate scripts that are activated by other function uh, um, events, such as undisabling the script or something. Um, they could be. They could be a lot of things. Um, but in this in this instance, we are basically not going to do either of those um, what we're going to do is we're going to make different scripts for every single mini game when we do this and we're going to make an event which feeds that we're gonna make an event for each mini game a bindable event uh, I'll teach about those in an episode or two, and uh, then we'll have a bindable event that runs this while true do loop again, which we actually will change out of a while true do loop, and we'll put the while true do loop into a different kind of loop that's put into a function. Make sense? No? Oh. I'll explain then. Alright, so first thing, we're going to actually change this to be in a separate function. Function uh, run loop. And okay, that that wasn't annoying or anything. No, no, you crazies, you crazies, crazies. All right, so we're gonna take this out, this restart part. We're gonna change this while true do, um, actually to nothing. We're we're completely removing the uh, while true do. And this run loop is actually going to be changed to start a game. Um, and I'm using underscores because I like to be able to read it. And now down here we're just going to do start a game to begin with. Now here's, we are actually going to have a loop. Uh, while, no, we'll, we'll worry about that loop later. So here's where we start. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new function called select mini game. Oops. And we're actually going to make this a variable. Uh, mini game equals select mini game. Let's make a new function up here that actually doesn't do anything right now. We're just gearing up for the main deal. This is how I develop um, my more in-depth um, games and projects is I wire it all up and then I get the different parts working. Um, and then we're going to announce the mini game. So we're going to do game.message.text or game.workspace.message.text equals mini game has been chosen get ready um, mini game by the way would be um, text it'll just be a string uh, representing the name of the mini game and we'll go from there um, and then what we're going to do is game dot workspace mini game remember I just said it's a string so we can use um, mini game in the brackets to index something by its name. Um, minigame dot dot um, uh, start event um, 
that's what we're going to title our events is whatever the mini game's name is space start event as so um, and that I believe if we go to help right object browser bindable event you guys can look up some more stuff on this yes it's fire all right uh, dot fire okay we're not actually gonna pass in anything right now um, literally we're not passing in anything what this will do is it'll just fire an event um, somewhere and we'll be good we're going to make this return hello world um, and then we're gonna comment this line out so there we go we've got everything kind of started so now what we're going to do is we're just going to test this game. Um, press F7 then Alt F7. And next episode, um, we're going to work on doing a little bit more than that. We're going to... Message is now a valid member of Workspace. Oh, you're right. Duh. Um, that's why I wanted to test this. We actually need to make... Eh, no. Stop. Insert off. Okay. Um, M equals instance dot new message workspace and m that text um, and then after that m remove actually I think I heard somewhere that destroy is uh, the better method to use I've never used destroy though so uh, cross your fingers uh, this could be bad we're not actually gonna see the message right now because there is no wait um, but I just all right good so now we're gonna add in a wait I just wanted to see if there would be an error let's add wait 30 seconds that should give us plenty of time to start the server and then in turn start a player all right there we go it's it's boom all right it said hello world I think I think I saw the message yes hello world has been chosen get ready I am ready. I'm not sure about you. Um, attempt to call a nil value. I'm not sure what script that was. What's this test service? Is 30 FPS throttle enabled? Is physics environmental throttled? Is sleep allowed? Auto runs? Timeout? Wow. They've given you a lot more to work with in this test testing environment it looks like I'll, I'll look into the test service and tell you guys about it anyway it did work and after 30 seconds the message disappeared so we are good to go as we jump around in this terrible new animation that is sadly starting to grow on me um thank you guys for watching and i will catch you all later